today we are dealing with lots of sunshine. Oh, come on, that's a great looking shot right there. Look, look raise your hand if you like today. Ooh, look at everybody out there raising their hand. They're on their couches. Like, all right, here's the deal, guys. If you enjoy today, you're going to get sort of a repeat performance tomorrow. I'll try to explain everything, but currently outside, it's 57 degrees. You have a beautiful sky. Going into your day tomorrow, similar, but instead of, you know, pure sunshine, maybe partly sunny, overall, just a fine day. 63 was the high temperature at just about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Now, 63, through that quick math, it's 11 degrees above your average of 52. And when you look at your day tomorrow, we hit 63 today. We're hitting 63 degrees again tomorrow. So, like I said, the good stuff just keeps rolling on. The only difference is, look, you will have some fog out there in the morning. That's going to burn off. And then you are left with a couple of additional clouds out there. This is all in all a good looking day. And it has been just part of what you should be expecting a great start to spring. It's going to continue into your day. Day tomorrow. This idea of will we find the 70s this week? Well, I do not have a 70 degree forecast on my seven day. I don't. But we're pushing 70, I mean like 68, 69 by the time you get to the week's end. And rain chances, when do they return? They return on Wednesday, not so much Thursday, back on Friday, not so much Saturday, back on Sunday. So we're kind of alternating, okay, our wet weather days out there. But it's nothing big. I mean, even a Wednesday, Friday, Sunday rain total. Put it all together. It's not even an inch, but I want you to have the umbrella just because nobody wants to get rained on. Skies, they look great right now. Bigger picture is going to show you. If you look up into the sky, you'll see three big H's. <laughs> not really. But here's the deal this high pressure system, it's strong. It's sort of stretched itself out. So we call that a triple barrel high. What it's doing, this low pressure system with some rain down on the outer banks, it's preventing it from having an impact in our area. The only thing we may see, a few more of those clouds may skim into our area tomorrow. It's not a big deal. This is the wet weather that I'm looking at to kick in maybe Wednesday or so. So let me show you how we see it on the computer models. Again, you're just fine for your Tuesday morning fog, partly sunny in the afternoon. Wednesday, the wet weather chance returns. Thursday, interesting setup here, all right? Wet weather's gone, but look, there's another system. So Thursday, you're sort of in between. I cannot say it's a 0% chance for wet weather because this may lag a little bit, or this one may get here a little sooner. So it's a slight little chance on Thursday. Then you get to Friday, there's a wet weather chance for Friday. Saturday's the better day of your weekend. And then Sunday, look at that, another chance for some wet weather rolling into the area. So across the board, you're 63 on Tuesday, partly sunny skies, 56 on Wednesday. Wednesday could very well be, you know, one of the wetter days and certainly the coolest day at 56 degrees. Thursday, you're 67. In between two systems, like I just said, Friday 69. Now you're mild enough for that southwest push, but you know, there's a rain chance on Friday, Saturday, the better day of the weekend, 62 with sunshine, and a rain chance on Sunday at 57. Guys, my seven days right there, all yours. Okay, Lonnie, thank you.